Yeah, went for the archer instead. It's probably a smart move. Okay, so keep an eye on that alchemist's range, which is there. So let's go here. This place is huge. Let's, let's press on. Volda must be in here somewhere. Arf. Okay, so Spearman can follow up. Archer can actually do a crit, so let's do that. Then we can finish off with the Swordsman and move uh, Mercia forward even further. So you finish off. Wit and personality of a god! I don't actually know how many letters that was. Yeah, I thought it might be. And the Alchemist. Yeah, so one... Ta-da! Yes, benefit is E. Okay, so this archer causes me some problems, so I'm going to back off actually because Mercia's thing still isn't ready. I could. Yeah, you know what? We've got plenty of units here, so let's do. Uh, do I want to have Caesar attacked? Because if I crit. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. So I need to move my units. Oh, I need to move them down, if anything. An ore. Of course it is. What do you expect it to be? No, it doesn't fit. So, Alchemist can heal here. So, I need to make sure that my knight can get into the forest, which it can. Um, Caesar, where can you reach? Caesar's not going to get healed, actually. I don't think. So, we'll send Swordsman here. Alchemist here. Yes. Okay. So now everyone's above five health there, apart from this dog here, which actually, I think I'll follow up behind Mercia, because they'll be closer to Mercia that way. So now the Spearman's going to move back. Let's move them here, if anything. Caesar, you can sit on the forest, I think. And this alchemist is going to go left. Uh, so, a facet or feature A something PE. And then something Aspect. Thank you. Okay. Riggy Rob and Pimsy plays Crosswords featuring Wargroove. Yeah. I'm sure there are some streamers that would actually do that. You know, they would actually spend a stream going through puzzles and like do crowdsourcing of solutions. That's actually a really good uh, stream idea if someone's not already doing that. Resume. Resume. All right. What? Are you serious? I forget about them in word search and crosswords and stuff. It's hard. Use the hardest. You forget about you as a vowel. I did it all by myself. Look. All by yourself. <laughs> Majority. Majority. I never finished one of those. Okay, so we are inside. And Mercia's groove. Wow, the dog is not dead. That screwed me over. That has actually screwed me over. I can't believe that. <laughs> Did I distract you? No, it was the variance in the damage made that happen. Maybe I didn't pay attention to what the values were, but that shouldn't have happened. Oh, well. Uh, right, so let's see. I don't think we can break through the door on the other side, but we'll see. So I can do 19, 17, I can do 5, 32. No, I don't think there's any way I can actually break through the door. Reaper says, did Pimsy actually figure one herself? Maybe. I did the majority myself. Majority. I did. Also, OBS is complaining once again. Why? I've updated you. There's no reason for this. Hmm. Well, it seems to have sorted itself for the time being. Yeah, okay. So. I don't think there is actually a smart way of getting through here without taking many, many casualties. So I am going to go on the left-hand side and avoid that. I think Knight is more most important than Alchemist because it can move further. Uh, Caesar, I guess, is going to stay near the door. 
and the pikemen maybe as well stay near the door and the archer can actually just attack from range can't it oh no it can't reach never mind well the archer's gonna go left then okay so yeah i'm kind of annoyed actually that this dog didn't die and that would be grounds for a reset if i was going to go for an s rank because now the Pikeman's going to crit and take out the Swordsman. The Archer's going to get through there, so... It's just going to cause a whole host of problems. But oh well, I'm kind of committed to this now, so... We will deal with it as it comes. I would be surprised if I actually do manage to pull it out of the bag and actually man manage a three-star finish on this one, but I don't think it's going to happen now. So, let's see. Yeah, Spearman's just going to move forward up to there. To avoid getting hit by the archer. Although, to be fair, the spearman's going to move forward anyway. Archer's going to do a crit on Mercy, I would imagine. Um, Alchemist will probably go for Swordsman, or even the Pikeman, actually. Mm. Yeah, so... Pikeman there. We'll have Pikeman stay here, and Caesar go forward, because it can tank hits. Okay, let's see what Volda does. Oh! I don't think they actually went for a crit. Which is weird. I don't know why that's the case, but whatever. Okay, so... Uh, Archer can't reach, so you need to move back now. We have Archer over here that can't reach anything either, but we do have Alchemist behind. Let's see... Yeah, I think at this point, I need to advance Greetings. in. Queen Mercia, quite the infiltration. May I ask what you plan to do next? He and my fortress, outmanned and outmatched? <laughs> Foolish girl, you have less than a score of soldiers by your side. And he's got his groove ready, just by sitting there. And Pimsy was giggling at my voice acting that she hasn't actually heard before. So I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I hope everyone else has been enjoying it as well, actually. Alright, so... Caesar, again, is going to go for the door here. I don't think I can take out this Spearman on the left-hand side with 70% health. We'll see. This word here, what do you think it could be? E something E-I-S-S -S something E. Uh, you will n probably need to repeat that when I'm not thinking about what I'm doing on the game, because that is the most important thing. No, when I said repeat it, I, d I did mean repeat. You think the game's more important than my happiness? While I'm streaming it. Something E-I-S-S -S something E. What is the clue? There isn't a clue. There isn't a clue. Well, then that could be any word. It's guess the letters. Guess the letters. Right, I think to avoid getting wiped out there, do I want to use Mercy's power now? I think I might do, actually. So if Mercy goes here to use Healing Aura, that will cover everything. Um, if she goes if she goes here, does that reach the Swordsman? It doesn't, no. So Healing Aura there. But I would need to move the dog first. If anything. Hmm. Let's put... Here, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure how much a 60% health dog will do to a 90% health spearman, but I suppose it's worth the shot. I'm here to help! Healing aura! Okay, so, 60% dog. 89% pikemen. Ugh, that's gross. I do not like that. But I think putting Mercia there has helped to avoid getting killed by some units. So, dog, you are going to just stay behind Mercia, I guess. And you can chase up the two health spearmen in a bit. Now the pikemen, again, just going to sit behind Caesar for the time being. Uh, we'll see who By the archer goes for. Rise. rise from your grave! Alright, that's an archer gun. 
That's a problem because there is a giant on the way now. I think maybe Valder's uh, speech is what triggers the knight, to, uh, the giant's move forward. So let's see. Uh, Caesar's groove's ready. It might have been ready before actually, but I was maybe not paying attention to that just so much, considering I have distractions to the right of me. Uh, yes, let's do this. I think having Mercia block that side is sensible. In theory, if I have Mercia and I have Caesar, I should be able to tank all of the units. It'll just take a long time, but again, can't rely on that too much. So this door is on 51% health. I don't think anything else can hit it now. So swordsman move forward. Lick. Well, you th well, I didn't know that. You didn't say that. So, you know, you can't really blame me for saying a stupid word. Now, can a spearman crit a door open? I don't think so. Mm. Suppose I might as well use Caesar's power now. And see how much the crit does do. So, you do 19 to 27 with the crit, you will do 29 to 40. Makes sense to do that for the time being. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, attack. So, we're going to sit you there. Uh huh. Knight, you're going to go here. Alchemist, you're going to hold behind. I think probably here is best. Uh, yeah, Pikeman, you're going to sit here. Dog, you're going to set out of range of the archer. And so is the swordsman. Alright. Come on, giant. Ah. So... S Valder's actually got a war of attrition of his own going on because he can just infinitely create units now. Every time he uses his power, it's just going to come back instantly the next turn. Interesting. Okay, so. 8 to 11%. That is not useful. So let's move you over and crit you open. So now is a tricky part because we want to make sure we don't get our commanders swarmed, but we do need to take out these guys as well. So I think this is safe for the time being because Caesar will regenerate some of his health back. There we are. Ta da! Right, a giant does a crap load of damage. I don't, I don't have a trebuchets either, so a giant can't really be taken out without any casualties, which is annoying, but hey-ho. Um, let's see, I guess Mercy can take out... Oh, wow. No. This 20% buff to defense while indoors is really strong. Okay, well, in that case, I do want Mercy to block that side, so we'll do this. Hata! Alright, so. Archer's weak, so now we can move our units forward. We'll stick dog at the top. Uh, assuming that archer can't reach, it can't, that's good. Pikeman, you're gonna go directly behind, and swordsman, you're gonna go behind Pikeman. So. Is it worth getting the first hit on a knight? I can only recover 20% health. Probably not, right? So what I can probably do instead is if I stick Swordsman here, you are going to be bait for the giant. Uh, now this alchemist is going to sit on here to heal up those two. Uh, knight, you need to stay there. Alchemist, you stay there. Okay. Whew. 
Okay, Caesar attracted the hit. Rise from your grave. Which is fine, actually. That works for me. Okay. We made some space, and Mercia's Groove is ready. That's good, that's good. All right, so. What is the best way to work this? We have a knight. The knight can take out plenty of people. Uh, the archer can move a bit, but not too far. Let's see. Yeah, let's take out this swordsman, because that'll free up some space for other units. There we are. Let's have this dog to finish off the archer. Now, the question is, if I can surround... I can't surround the giant, can I? That'd be too difficult to work. So instead, I just need to worry about healing as many units as I can with Mercia. So... Yeah, that could work. No, actually, how much health does my alchemist have? 66, so that'll be an instant death if I try that on the giant. Um, <laughs> hmm. Let's move Archer forward. Okay. So, first hit on a giant with the alchemist is 16 compared to the knight is 21. So I guess that makes sense to do it with Knight. Uh, yeah. The problem I'm going to get is the Spearmen are going to get in the way pretty early. So if I can do Healing Horror there, I can heal on both sides. Uh, A-G-I-T-A-T-E. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. So we will attack first strike with our Pikemen here. And we'll send Mercia forward to block the path of some of the infantry units coming from that direction. So in order to get healed, I would need to have my units next to the giant, next to the swordsman, next to the other swordsman. Okay. So let's do that, shall we? So, ah, I suppose... Yeah. So this alchemist will survive the hit on the giant, so let's do this. The other alchemist can move next to the swordsman. And then the knight can even do the crit to take out one of the swordsmen, which works. So you're going to go there, you take 24 to 31, so that's fine. That's fine, fine for you. Maximize the healing as much as I can. Alright, uh, Archer is going to have to move after my other unit, so let's put you there, Mr. Knight. I know there's a Pikeman on the other side, but there's not much I can do about him. Um, so, Swordsman goes 1, 2, 3, 4 down there. Archer follows up. 1, 2, I could set up a crit on the giants, but that would require moving Caesar. And if I'm going to move Caesar, I want to make sure he gets healed. So if Caesar attacks there, he'll get healed. And then the pikeman's not going to get healed because I would, I would attack. Although, if I'm just going to surround the giant, I don't necessarily even need to attack. Yeah, let's try this, shall we? At 60% health, it's going to stay out of its own crit range, so doing this should be fine. And the important pikemen will get the heal. The other pikemen is just going to be crit setups. Mm-hmm. That's expected. So... Just double check once more with Mercia. Yes, the pikemen will get healed up here. Now the question is, is it more effective to heal up the two health pikemen or the seven health one? I guess it's the two health one. So seven health pikemen, you move there, you move there, but don't attack. 
and Mercy goes here to... Ah! Uh... Mm -hmm. I... Well, I basically should have lost the mission there. By my hand, rise! I didn't click down twice to use healing aura. So I moved Mercia into a position without healing. Well, that's annoying. Um, I suppose I could move one space left and use it now. Yeah, that's close enough. It's really annoying that I did that, but... Oh, well. So the units I lost were the two alchemists... Um, which isn't all that bad, actually, because I'm not going to be healing with them anymore. But they would kind of come in handy if I can stick on a pillar to get a crit. Can you stick on a pillar for a crit? No, you can't. They're impassable. Never mind. Okay, so... I think Caesar is now going to block Giant here. Here we are. So Caesar's take gonna take some damage back, but that's okay. Um, right. So we have eight health swordsmen, does 68 there. Or we could do a crit next to Mercia. Uh, the crit's not that useful. Now. Yes. It is a, a weapon of some sort. Hmm. Alright, let's try and do a crit. Oh, I could do a full health crit. Nah. Nah, man. Weaken pikemen. Then... Yes, hello, Kenai. I know. No, you can't sit on me. Not allowed. Exuated. Exuated? Exuated? Yeah. You're saying nonsense now. Look, e something U A T E D. Are you sure it's a U? Yeah. Is it not a V? No, it's a U. Okay. It's an Educate. Educate. No. Kenai. Acuate? Acuate? You guys wouldn't believe how many distractions I have next to me. Equate. <laughs> This was not what I had in mind when I was going to do a stream today. I told you not to stream. Well, I wanted to stream. <laughs> so that's why this is happening. Now you have to play with Kenai. Alright, so... Good dog. We can do 66. We can do 56. We can do 60. So, 66 it is! I think it took that long to figure out. Mm-hmm. Ba, 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 da, da, da. All right, so all I need to do is make sure Caesar can't get hit, so he can't, so that's good. Wargroove, 10,000 distractions challenge run. <laughs> kind of. All right, so we're on turn 13. I don't think we're going to get that three star like I mentioned before, but never say never. Uh, I guess the dog will need to go here, and then Pikewin can go here. Okay. So, oh Caesar's man. just nice. holding on. And the inexorable wall of death approaches. So, Caesar has his groove ready. Now. Where is the best place for him to use it? I guess it would be where Mercy is standing, if anything. But to do that, I need to make some space. So let's finish off the archers from the top side. There we are. So now Archer moves forward. Uh, this pike, pike bros down here are going to take care of the giant. But to do that, Caesar does need to move. So we can also have this swordsman move forward. 
Mercy is going to move forward herself. And she's going to take the lead from now on, I guess. So, let's see. Yep. That'll do fine. Now, Caesar can go here. So, the question is, is that optimal? Probably not, right? Mm. No shove mechanic in this game. So, yeah, this is probably the best place for Caesar. I might even hold on to the groove for another turn. Mm. Hmm. Well, regardless, we need to move Mercia forward. So let's do that. Easy decisions are the best ones to make. We can worry about Caesar's power later. Now, dogs can chase. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, attack, but it'd get hit by the uh, swordsman first. So, knight, one, two, three, four, five, six, or yes, one, two, it. three, four, five, six. They are oh. not easy to I would imagine they're not. So, let's move our units forward. I think Caesar's groove will come in handy maybe the turn after. So, hit you here. Knight's taking the lead. Da, 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 da. Nobody else can hit me, which is good, because I don't want to get swarmed. And yeah, I think Caesar's power is going to hold on for another turn. Okay. Uh, 8 to 40% damage. Jeez. Well, I'm kind of committed to taking out this giant now so let's hope we get a high high value crit i think that's pretty high counter attack yeah that was good 